Hello, today I'm going to show you how to clean up a data set without any code. Uh, we're going to look for empty values, replace them and remove them, depending on the, on the, the, the requirements. So we're going to do it with fluidtable.com. So just go to fluidtable.com and after you sign up, you will be taken to your dashboard. In your dashboard, you find an import Excel or CSV file and um, in the description you will find an example document that I'm going to use in this video. Once you downloaded it, you upload it here, the simple CSV, fluid table will load it and uh, save it in your dashboard and this is the raw data set that we want to clean. You see that the features are name, age and industry and we have some empty rows and some non-numeric values in, in the age column and we want to fix all that. The first thing is we look for the clean data button which will open the data cleaner tool and here we can select the columns and the first one is automatically selected. Starting by inspecting the values we see that the actual first value is the name of the column so the name tag and we want to tap this make header button which will transform that first value into the column header. Second, we want to replace the empty values like the one at row 2 uh, with unknown label, with the label unknown. So we re enable the cleaning option replace value when it is empty and when value is empty replace it with a custom value which we will use unknown. And we see here in the preview immediately the empty value becomes unknown. Second, we go to the age column. In the age column, uh, we see that there are empty values like a row 2, and we have non numeric values a row 4. And the requirement are for this example that all empty or non valid numeric values should be removed from this column. So actually the entire row should be removed because we cannot analyze that entry. We uh, scroll down and we see that we have add more cleaning option button which will open a pop-up with a lot of different filters to replace or remove values depending uh, on your needs. We scroll down until we find remove row when there is an empty value. Clicking on it it will be automatically added and will remove a row when the value is empty. And in fact we see a row 2 which uh, uh, did not have any value now is removed. But we want to also remove the row 4 that is uh, like a text instead of a number. So again add more cleaning options. We scroll down until we find remove row when there is a type matching condition. We select it and is automatically added and enabled and then we make sure that it's configured as such. Remove row when the value type is not a number. And we see the 22 gets removed. Now here in the preview we have the label remove but it, the entire row will actually be removed when we clean up the entire data set when we confirm these settings. So we are happy with these cleanings and we just tap start cleaning. We see now that we have two sheets. The sheet one clean is the one that we uh, that it has been generated for us. So we see that there are no empty values both in name or age and there are no uh, text in the age column so the data is clean. But we also have sheet one which is the original one with the original data with empty values, labels and so on. Fluid table creates a new table because in the old one, the original one, it saves all your cleaning options. So if you go back to clean data, it will load up all the cleaning options that you previously set. You will be able to ch just change a few things and clean again the entire data set. Last thing is that you can export the data sets. You tap export and you can download an Excel or CSV file. Remember, with an Excel you will export all the tables, with a CSV just the selected table. One click and it's downloaded. Now you can continue to work on it 
analyze it on your favorite tool outside of Fluid Table. Thanks for watching, and uh, in the description you will find the article version of this link and the example dataset that I use in this video. Thank you very much. See ya.